the team's date of birth. A day to be forever remembered. February the 21st, 1969, Fort Myers, Florida, as the Royals took the field for the first time. After 18 months of careful planning and tireless effort, the big day finally arrived. Opening day, Municipal Stadium on April the 8th. And what a launching it was, as immediately the dream script began. The Royals win the opening day struggle against the eventual winners in the Western Division, the Minnesota Twins. They traveled through 12 innings. They won by a score of 4-3. to three. This game becoming the first of 21 victories, the Royals achieved their final turn at bat. Yes, the Royals were for real. And the man who made it all possible tells us why. Royal owner, Ewing Kaufman. Basically, the reason that I got in the baseball business is that I thought the people of Kansas City and this great metropolitan area should have a Major League Baseball team. I also would say that I think that Kansas City and Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, Nebraska, Oklahoma are tremendous sports fans, and I thought it would be successful.
1969 was truly a season to remember. Vanella led the team in hitting and won various rookie honors. Bunker paced the Royals in victories, including a brilliant one-hitter. Relief ace Rabowski figured in nearly one-third of the Royal victories. Boy was the RBI leader and stole 37 bases. Patrick came on strong to lead the Royals in home runs. Veteran Jerry Adair steadied the infield and hit in timely fashion. Butler's four shutouts and strikeout ratio ranked high in the American League. Lead center fielder Scott Nardi may develop into the best of all the newcomers. Exciting Pat Kelly stole 40 bases to threaten the all-time rookie record. So the national pastime is back in Kansas City. It was a great season. A near first division finish. And the Royals with the best record of all the first year clubs and a bright future looms ahead. Yes, this is your team, the Kansas City Royals.